All right, for the next video in the series on ESP32C3 using Rust, we're going to dive into the ADC. So we'll generate a new project with Cargo Generate, call it ADC, call it ADC1, uh, latest stable uh, STD score, target ESP32C3. Okay. Now we'll look at our files standard hello world that we're used to. Uh, we'll start building right away. It takes a long time. Uh, while we build, we're going to go into the cargo.toml file. We'll update the ESP IDF sys to the latest version. We'll also use the latest version of ESP IDF HAL version 0 0.40. And then we're also going to use ESP current line version 0.3.1 and we need the feature targeting ESP32C3. Okay. So now if we go into our main.rs, we're going to use, it, use a few more crates. We're going to use the ESP IDF HAL and of course we need the peripherals. And then we need the ADC. So we need the ADC cell. And then uh, we need the delay. Here on toss. Okay. Uh, we also need to import the uh, ESP print line uh, specific macro. So we can use a regular print line macro. Okay, uh, now we will get the peripherals first. And we need to take that and unwrap it. And then from the peripherals, we get our ADC1 driver. So that new ADC1 equals ADC, ADC driver. New and we're going to use peripherals.adc1 and adc config and the config and we're going to set the calibration to true. Okay. And then we're going to unwrap that. Okay. We have our ADC driver. Next, we're going to get the uh, pin. So we're going to say let mute A1 ADC1 channel 0 is ADC ADC channel driver. We'll type ADC attenuate it 11 dB. Controls that pins GPIO. Let's see, we're going to use GPIO zero, and we're going to unwrap that. And that will loop for forever. And we're going to try to read ADC one with a mutable reference to channel zero. And if we get something, it's okay. Then. We're going to print line uh, A1 channel 0 Oops. and I'll return. If we get an error, then we're going to print that uh, there was an error. Okay, and then after that, we need to delay milliseconds. We'll delay one second between readings. All right, so you can see this ESP IDF sys is still building. We'll interrupt it to build again. And it's waiting for a block, so we'll save. Um, 
usually it will take a while, so. There it goes, okay. So one thing that might be slowing down these builds a little bit is that I'm recording the video as I'm building it. So um, the builds do take a while normally, but I'm sure recording video, uh, screen recording doesn't help any. Okay, so we got a little error so we'll go back here and uh, we'll put a semicolon instead of a comma. So hopefully it builds quickly this time. There we go. Okay, so ESP flash and we do target risk five debug for the plus ABC one. And uh, ESP monitor. Okay, you can see our ADC reading printing out. And if I turn the knob, you can see the reading is changing. So obviously we're sampling really slow, but this is just to get the peripheral working. So, all right, hopefully that was uh, successful for you. Leave any questions or comments below. Thanks.